Other yellow hat guy here, back with another video. We got a lot to talk about. A lot, not so much. It's gonna be split up in a series of videos. But let's talk about your boy, Soldier Boy. Yes, the guy that had the Superman. You, you may remember him from maybe the early two thousands. Uh, you may have heard that song and remember it. It was it was pretty popular back in the day. DeAndre Way Cortez, or DeAndre Cortez Way, uh, whatever his name is, uh, he's back in the news. Now, I got to give some props to Soldier Boy, okay? Regardless of how I may feel, how you may feel about him, uh, we call guys like that one-hit wonders, where they, they had like a, you know, a 15-minute window of fame and you know, then they fade out into obscurity and they're broke or they're going back to a regular job or what have you. Soldier Boy was smart with his money, uh, at least as far as I can tell. I don't know. I'm not his personal advisor or financer. I don't live where he lives. Although parts of uh, Georgia, parts of Atlanta specifically, are very uh, reasonable when it comes to cost of living. But anyway, he still doing his thing, uh, even though the music isn't as mainstream as it once was, uh, he's doing his thing, he's staying afloat, but one of the things, one of the opportunities that he's taking himself upon is these video game systems. Really? Out of nowhere? Usually when a video game system uh, is coming out, people have known about it for a year, two years, you know? Maybe times are different because of the internet and everything gets uh, revealed faster. But I remember growing up reading Nintendo Power, waiting months, you know, for N64 to drop. Waiting a year for GameCube and so on and so forth. So that being said, uh, DeAndre, or Soldier Boy as the kids call him, he's getting into the gaming console business. Or is he? Now, I say, or is he, because these are bootleg gaming consoles. So other videos, other creators online, they're saying this is a scam. I don't know if it's a scam. I just know I'm not with it. Now, you may be thinking, well, you know, give it a chance. It's something. It's some if you're a collector, that's something. Maybe he's signing some of these. That would probably be for the best if he autographed them to his fans or something. But from what I understand, he's charging far more than what they cost on AliExpress or, you know, wherever you can get these things online. They're they're not they don't play custom games. They're they're just consoles that play knockoff games of other systems. They're they're basically emulation stations. So I don't get it. Uh, what do you think? Are you going to get one of these things? I don't know, buyer beware, it really just isn't worth it. I don't even know if it's going to have his name affiliated with it at all, other than this is the guy that's shipping them to you. He's probably buying them for, what, $10 a pop and selling them for maybe $40, $50, who knows how much, but it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Don't get caught up this Christmas time trying to get a Soldier Boy console. <laughs> it'd be a, a big mistake big mistake especially when you can get those things much cheaper elsewhere uh, again not hating on him respect that hustle but uh, it's, it's probably not the move see you in the next video